So, hi guys, this is Yuan and we will have the call regarding that about his journey from investment banking to transitioning from into cyber security and what are the challenges that he has faces, what are the difficulties he has faces and how much consistent he was and what are the prerequisites and what are the basic things that he had known and how he was able to clear OSCP, OSED, OSC and what not, right? So, we will be discussing about all those things, right? And Yuan will help us and will also give us some sort of roadmap that like as a fraser and as experienced person even they can take guidance from and that will be help us to become a better cyber security consultant right so hey one nice to be you over here so could you just introduce yourself uh, hello i'm yuan uh, it's such a pleasure to be invited to this channel uh, i'm 27 years old and currently working in a bank uh, in china uh, my main role uh, isn't directly related to anything uh, to cyber security but but out of personal uh, interest and passion I've studied various aspects of cybersecurity, uh, including uh, penetrating testing uh, and bug bounty hunting and uh, auditing. Right? Uh, uh, last year, I oversee three certifica certifications through offensive security studies. Uh, recent, recently, I've been uh, exploring a career change and plan to uh, dive into the world of cybersecurity. Uh that's great thing they want actually and again guys as, as i have to tell you english is not a mother mother tongue for uh you are neither mind right so he is kind of native speaker of chinese he really used to speak chinese english actually right so that's not that's not your concern moreover that's pretty good thing i mean uh i mean you want you have a really good job right you have a really good job in a bank right in investment firm, right and so what motivates you actually that you want to transit from a uh, finance background to cyber security I mean, what was the motive? Like, what motivates you that? What you can bring to the society? What What is the motive behind that? Yes, you can do something better than what you are doing at this point of time. Uh, yes, I have to say, uh, it, 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 most of it, uh, it it is because my interest and the, the passion about the cyber security. Um, I've always been fascinated by programming and coding and uh, like the t uh, network techniques or cracking softwares. So I decided to teach myself uh, programming. Uh, and through that journey, I also uh, explored some hacking related knowledges. And I have practiced some CTF uh, pure of out of interest. So now that I have one question you want from you, right? That uh, you just told that you have a really deep interest from the beginning, right? So as a fresher, when did you find your interest in cybersecurity? I mean, at what point of time you think that yes, you can make your career in cybersecurity? Like during your graduation time only or bachelor at that bottom time. So or later in like after working corporate, you find out that yeah, this could be something that you can do better. Yeah, uh, uh, it's when I when I graduated and I worked. Um, like one year and i realized i i'm not very like the the job i i'm doing and i yes i i, I like uh programming or developing so i uh, started a lot of things like, like uh, the basic programming uh after the, the work so uh, the interest is is um uh, growing <laughs> until i realized i should uh, make a, a big change and so i uh, spend most of my time to learn um, um, such as uh, programming or cyber security things. So, uh, like when you find your interest that you want to be in cyber security, right? So as a listener, as like even though if I'm talking about like my journey, I was not aware where to start, what to do, what, what not to do. So as a fresher, how did you start? I mean, did you take guidance from senior or uh, I mean, I mean, how did you find out that what should be the start point and from where did you start? Yes, uh, yes, at the very beginning, I, I was also very uh, confused and uh, not know how to start uh, uh, the whole thing. So I, I watched uh, a, a lot of videos from uh, Bilibili in China and uh, the YouTube, YouTube, some YouTube channel. Um, uh, they are very helpful for the beginners to, um, to know uh, 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 the, the, the very basic uh, knowledges at the beginning and i um and i uh incredibly impressed by the by some learning uh websites like hack the box or uh, the try hack me uh they have a uh, structured pathways and a learning path so i i think it's it's, it's very fantastic for building a fundamental knowledge of cybersecurity. 
Yes. Right. So, like, once you identify that, yeah, this could be the way, right? So, what would you suggest uh, uh, from a facer perspective that if I want to kickstart my career into cybersecurity, right? I don't want to, I want to do that, right? So, in that way, if I'm going to ask you, from where I should start, like networking fundamentals, OS fundamentals, or programming, what was the first thing where you started learning? It is networking or OS or Linux. I mean, what exactly you learned first? And how did you like the step forward? Could you brief something about that? Uh, for me, I think uh, programming languages will be uh, very basic. Uh, but but it, it may depend. Uh, but it may be depends. Uh, yes. Um, I also think uh, some Linux uh, scripts is is very important for the beginners because uh, you you may use uh, them a lot in during your uh, pen te pen penetrating testing or some something like that. So, um, but but I think uh, programming language may 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 be uh, develop a, a, a more um, uh, um, uh, I don't want, I don't know how to say it. Uh, you can even you can use some coances, like uh, there's some quotes from Chinese as well. That will work out. Oh, okay. Or you may translate it later on. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, so, so I basically think, think that uh, programming language will be uh, very useful uh, in the beginning. Yes. So that means you you, you, you are meant to say that the one should start learning first basic or basic fundamental of programming. Then they should jump into OS or Linux or any other things, right? Yes, uh, but I, I think uh, just uh, the basic uh, programming knowledge is is enough for the beginner. Okay, so this is not need to deep down into, but to have a basic understanding that how the syntax are working, how the PC programming things are working. Yeah, that's the point actually, and that is really needed, guys. That's cool. And one more thing I would like to ask over like how what are your learning methodologies? Like uh, how do you manage your time like as if you are a corporate employee that then must be we must be working like nine hours ten hours a day right so how you like uh, managing your time like not at that point of time but when you started learning for the your career like you want to learn OCP which is we all know that this is one of the biggest certificates in our cyber security fields and you have done till OCE so how you were able to manage your time okay uh, uh yes I, I think the it's very important to to um, manage my time because I, I have a full-time job and I only uh, have my spare time at night so I uh, I created a, a realistic study plan and uh, set uh, some goals uh, for me um, after work, uh, like some daily daily goals. Uh, uh, and I and I, I kind of broke down the, the course material into um, into sections uh, and uh, yes, and uh, that uh, like weekly goal or daily goal. Uh, and I um, persuade myself to spend at least two hours uh, a day to uh, learn stuff. Okay, that means you are consistent. Like you have broken down the topics into some stuff. Topics and then you usually invest two hours each day right with consistency that's a pretty good actually moreover uh i mean if i ask you a formal question like uh, what, what do you like about security uh i think it is very very interesting like um you can find some um like hidden bugs or some vulnerabilities and uh, you can um, develop uh, a useful script uh, yourself and uh, to um proof your concepts or something uh, it's very uh very very fascinating <laughs> Yes, and I agree. I even it's super agree with this. Like no matter what is coming, it is of AI, ML, or uh, you can say now we have. Uh, I mean, uh, we have blockchain, Web three, right? So whatever technology coming in, we have we have a security flow in everything out there, right? So I think you have the skill pin to start being a cybersecurity consultant. If they are skilled enough, then they would have opportunity everywhere. And I too agree with this. Uh, Oh, you are like you have built some one of the amazing tool, right? Which I would definitely to talk about, which is Link Linko Caction, right? So yes, I mean, what motivates you to just uh, uh, not from a learning perspective, just go beyond learning and build something for the build some open source tool for the like uh, users like us or the other security consultants, right? So what motivates you? And this tool seems to be really good because just by using that tool, I was using that, right? And using that tool, I was able to gather the information across the several platform. So what motivates you build that tool, tool and the, what was the fun, like the reason that you built on this tool? This was the first project that you might have done in security. So how did you come to this point actually? Yes, uh, actually uh, it's when I, uh, when I used to uh, use the uh, similar tool and then uh, Sherlock um, and it is very, very useful and uh, uh, it, it has uh, 
a very good、uh, community, and、uh, um, it has many users. And when I when I use it,、uh, it has、uh, some、um, some shortcuts. I think、um, it only、um, finds、uh, it, it only finds、um, a social media account、uh, based based on、uh, username. But I I I、uh, realize that、um, nowadays、uh, many social Platforms have some、uh, connections to each other, like my、uh, Twitter or the、uh, is connecting to my、uh, Google account or my Reddit account. So I I I, I was wondering if I can、um, just uh, scrap、um, one account and、uh, find the other、uh, other social accounts connecting connect to it. So I、um, paste my、uh, script and find that it it works okay. It works fine. So I.、Um, And to develop a a a tool like the、uh, the link link I don't know no how to pronounce that that that's no that's okay again、uh, we all know that、uh, with with the medium that I'm going to show this to the people right I wanted to bring to the people that language is not uh, uh, language could not be just at the skill of a person it is because of what language you are speaking what、um, like uh, reason you are belong to you can be a cyber security consultant and.、Uh, You can have all those skills that one one is looking for, right? So therefore, I would I would say that、uh, language is not a concern at all. Like, like rain is going on over here actually, so just the light is coming in and this going out. So yeah, so that's for the point. I would agree with that. Ah,、uh, so what are the technologies that you have used to build this tool? Ah,、uh, you mean you mean ah、uh, oh 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 types of、uh, just fight. That's pretty too, guys. He he has already told us、uh, from the beginning. The first thing that you guys need to learn is to clear your concept on basic language of programming. You could go ahead and learn some other scripting tool as well. But yeah, Python would be all go right. So as now,、uh, as a opsic professionals, how do you think、uh, you want that? How much time one need to invest in opsic? And like you have some sort of gap, right? That you took that certification one month back, and then you took two months of gap. So, what was your prep for、uh, to prepare for op opsec? Because from、uh, day to like a complete red teaming, and also you know how to do exploit development, and now you are OC three as well, right? So, what was your methodology for opsec certifications, right? Because it, I would say that you have taken almost a year, right? This is a、uh, very short、uh, time actually, and you have achieved a lot, right? So, how much time you invested? Particularly in clearing the opsec examinations. Um. Uh, I I I think uh the average time uh will be um uh, uh at least uh four four months for each course. Um, I spend uh like three months for the OSCP, and uh, um like five months for the OSCP. Because I think it 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 it, it was、uh, kind of difficult, <laughs> and I、uh, yes, many people say that. Yes, for the OSWE, I I think、uh, it's uh it's relatively sim simpler. <laughs> so it it took uh like around three three months. Uh, and for the OSED, um, I I was thinking it it was quite difficult. Uh, at the beginning, but but、uh, when I learned learned、uh, a little bit of it,、um, I think、uh, I I I it 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 is not as difficult as I think. <laughs> so I I uh, like um, uh, less than three months to complete it. That's good. So according to you. Uh, like you just said, we see EP was a bit difficult, right? So as compared to like other certification, why did you find OS EP to be、uh, difficult as compared to others of the certifications? Um. Oh, oh, yeah. You got to do. Oh, my my connection. <laughs> It's all stable. Okay,、um, yes, I found that the the OSCP、um, and it's a it's a it's a large envir environment, and I think because、uh, it's black box, so there are many many obstacles, and、uh, and 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 I may stuck for、uh, 
a machine uh, stuck uh, on a machine, and it took a very long time to to test or to uh, find some um, tricks or something. Uh, so I think it it, it, it was difficult. Did you come out uh, with those difficulties? Did you take help from a community like a just like a problem and the like us if you were stuck in somewhere, right? So from where did you take help and how did you come to the resolution that yeah this could help you, right? Apart from learning material from pops, did you take any other guidance from other followers or the community? If yes, from where? Uh, yes, uh, mostly uh, I tend to help in in the. Offensive securities official Discord channel, um, uh, yes, and uh, uh, and also I found some um, Chinese Discord channel um, related to cyber security. Uh, they are very helpful and uh, um, and uh, willing to share some techniques. Uh, not o not only uh, offensive security, but also um, other. Uh, cyber security related things and uh, uh, some good learning materials and i i have some friends um uh, have and i made some friends during the the whole learning journey and uh, uh, and the two of them uh, become OSCE 3 k heading list yes so overall you are like uh, we had really good talk so in in this short if i ask you as a fresher, right? Uh, considering me, I want to become object consultant, really get into the teamers, right? So, what would you suggest to me from the very basic roadmap? If I ask you to give me a roadmap that I want to do this first, then do this first, and then I can, I, I would be ready or I would be capable enough to go and do that OCP or like a kind of buy that voucher because we all know that it takes a lot of amount. It's huge amount actually, right? So before going for OPS certification, what are the prerequisites that you would suggest us to go and learn? Uh, you mean before the, the, the of sec Yes, before you know you know, OPS certifications, what are the prerequisites or what are the things that we should learn that make us capable enough to understand and grasp their knowledge that they are teaching us? Uh, uh, I, I, I really recommend the, the Burp Suite uh, Academy. Uh, it's a free course. Uh, it, 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 I, I learned that before the whole, the whole learning journey. Yes. Uh, they, they, they have very fundamental uh, knowledges, uh, about the web, uh, web security, right? Uh, it, they are very useful and they are, uh, they are free and have, uh, related, uh, exercise labs. So we can practice it according to the learning. So once you are done with the big fundamental from box food, and I am, I, I mean that that is something which I really agree on. Because even though on my YouTube I was started the series right zero to zero, I am following and teaching all of this. So this is something I agree with, right? So once I'm done with the big fundamental, what next I should do? Uh, uh, you you mean ne next? Or? After learning learning day, what would be the next step that I should take? Oh, I. The, the next thing I, I will say, um, maybe the Hack the Box Academy uh, and find some very basic learning paths. Uh, they are very, uh, their materials are very basic and uh, uh, very useful um, with some practice and exercises. Um, it, it is very good for the beginning beginner to learn uh, before the OS, OSCP course. Cool. So, um, if we'll ask you that, that's really good thing actually. The first, the first, first is it should be that you should clear your basic fundamental BAV API and then go and learn some offensive team from Hack the Box. And then once you think that you are feel confident enough, then you can go and grab the OCP plan, right? So, guys, thank you for being with us and I hope you enjoy our talk with you on, right?